Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose and fix a common PC issue. So last week, a customer dropped off this computer at my shop, and he told me when he booted up the PC, the monitor would just stay black, no matter what he did. He told me he tried different HDMI cables and tried plugging to the motherboard or the GPU, and still the same <laughs> result. Now I'm pretty familiar with this PC, because I built this about two and a half years ago. So there are four solutions to fix this problem. Two of these solutions are common, and two are uncommon. However, we'll go through all four, just so you know what they are. The first solution to fix this problem is the power supply. Now this PC is getting power. The optic drive works, the fans work, so we're getting some power. But often when the power supply goes bad, it starts to lose power at the beginning, before it goes dead. So I'll go ahead and remove this power supply, and I'll install a power supply from my shop. And while I'm installing the power supply, let me talk about two uncommon issues that could cause a black screen. The first uncommon issue is one of your RAM sticks has gone bad, or the RAM sticks are dirty. Either way, you want to remove the RAM sticks and clean the connections with an eraser. If you have two or more RAM sticks, I would plug one in at a time to determine if one of these RAM sticks are bad. However, this is a very uncommon issue. And one more uncommon issue is the CMOS battery. If your computer won't boot up, one of the things that could cause that is a corruption in the BIOS CMOS static RAM. And the way to fix that is unplug your computer, remove the coin cell battery from the motherboard, wait a few minutes and put it back in. And this returns the BIOS back to factory settings. If those two uncommon solutions do not work, then the two most common solutions are a power supply issue, and lastly is the motherboard issue. So I swapped out power supplies from a power supply in my shop, and this fix did not work. So at this point we know it's the motherboard. We've gone through all the common fixes and the uncommon fixes. So I'm gonna swap out motherboards with the exact model of this motherboard. I have one in my shop. At this point, we could upgrade the motherboard. However, that could require new RAM sticks and a new CPU. And my client wasn't willing to pay extra money. So we went the cheapest way. And swapping out an exact same motherboard is pretty simple. Just remove the old CPU and RAM sticks from the old motherboard. You can even take a picture of the wiring of the motherboard and use that for a reference when you reinstall the new motherboard. The rear fan for this PC is extremely dirty, so I decided to swap it out with a brand new fan from my shop. Okay, now the motherboard is installed. Everything is plugged in. All right, guys, we are all done. I got all the cords plugged in, all the power cords plugged in. New fan on the left here, which should be controlled by the uh, motherboard, plugged it in here. The other fan was not one of those kind of fans. It just plugged into a power supply. But this will be nice, so it'll be controlled by the uh, motherboard. So let's hope everything turns on and recognizes the uh, keyboard, monitor, and mouse. And let's go ahead and fire up the computer. And now the motherboard is booting up. And we got something going on here. 
Let's see if we go into Windows. And there is no black screen and we can now see Windows. Well, while this is getting the devices ready, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. This is a common problem. A lot of times this issue is usually a power supply issue. However, you want to check the RAM sticks. You want to check for loose connections. You want to check for a you know, multitude of things before you have to put in a motherboard. And uh, But a lot of times motherboards do go out for various reasons. And I feel that this one went out because it was very dirty. And uh, my customer said that he had gotten a uh, power surge, and that was never the same since. So that could have been it. Power surge, combination with a lot of dirt and dust. So, um, yeah, we're all good to go here. Let it update. Success. So guys, I hope this helps you diagnose and fix the same issue. If you have an issue with a black screen and your motherboard booting up, follow all these steps. Well guys, we're all done here. And as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe, it's free. Thanks again for watching.